But one thing um, I do want to address is um, just this really egregious, and I addressed it on Friday, but it's worth um, updating this, this Atlantic uh, story written by a liberal activist. Um, now you have 25 people who have spoken out and dismissed this story, and now you even have uh, the author of the story who said, quote, I share the view that it's not good enough quote, referring to the fact um, that he uh, did this false report based on anonymous sources. Um, and basically, when you look at um, the liberal activist who wrote this, he has a very bad history. Um, he can't be trusted. The left's new hero used to be their number one enemy for his role in the U.S. entry into Iraq. Indeed, in the early 2000s, uh, this author was then at The New Yorker, and he extensively wrote on the possible links between Iraq and Al-Qaeda, a suggested link that was key behind the decision of U.S. involvement in Iraq. He relied on people who, in her, his words, quote, seemed to me to be credible, who said that they had information about such connections between Al-Qaeda and Iraq. And Goldberg's reporting simply backed up his view that the U.S. should invade Iraq. Um, in Slate in 2002, this author argued in favor of the U.S. invading Iraq. And later, he even admitted that he knew people blamed him for helping to get the U.S. into the war. Uh, he wrote a sarcastic piece saying, yes, yes, I know I started the Iraq War. Uh, his reporting cannot be trusted, as noted by the fact that 25 people have come out on the record dismissing uh, his report, the report by a liberal activist. Thank you. Thank you.